I have to prepare my lunch. It's a Greek Toro pizza. I'm just gonna get this done, have my lunch, and I'm gonna do my Brompton work. Done. Just a quick illustration on how the truffle can be set up. I previously had some issues with the twisting lock. It just stopped working one, one day. If you guys have the same experience and you want to know how to fix it, leave me a comment and I will try to explain to you on how to fix it. Easy. I haven't been using my truffle for quite a while. I think I first got this must have been like four years ago. I used to um, drag all the rubbish that I have at home to the garbage bin. It's one of the great tools. Um, I, I was just trying to install it as I have something to drag back next week. So just putting it back and testing it how it goes. I know a lot of parts has already been rusty, but um, still works. Let's see how it goes. So the truffle has been um, put together quite well and working quite fine for me in the afternoon. Like I said yesterday, during my vlog last night, I am going to answer some questions which uh, people had texted me, came through my Instagram or my Facebook or the comments on the YouTube. So one of the questions that I mentioned yesterday, um, I actually wrote it down here, was that, um, would it be worth it if I purchase a six-speed Brompton with a tie fork and triangle ready. I was thinking the six-speed hub is so heavy, does it, mix, does it make sense if I spend so much more on a heavier hub? Obviously, this guy is gonna get his first Brompton. I actually had a little chat with him. He's getting his very first Brompton, but he's not so sure which one to get. So he was able to ask me if he should get a six-speed with the titanium fork and triangle. I, I think for myself, this kind of question I get to ask a lot, like when I was back in my shop in Singapore. Um, a lot of people are having this sense in their head that um, if they spend the money, spend so much money in getting a Brompton with the titanium pass, obviously it costs a little bit more. It wouldn't make sense to them to get a six-speed hub which is so much heavier that makes you pay a lot of money, but you're getting a lot of weight. Often people think you pay a lot of money, you want a lighter weight, right? But with the Brompton 6-speed, I think it's a different game. I think it's really a matter of choice. When I say a matter of choice is how you are going to ride your bike. How you're gonna ride your bike. If you know where you ride, requires a lot of gearings, like some slopes, some mountains you wanna go up with, you will need the wider gear range of the six speed. So I do think if you are keen riding a Brompton and you needed the gear and you're in for a lighter bike, you should always go after a six speed titanium Brompton settings. Some people might have thought um, they can just purchase the steel first and later they can upgrade to the titanium. Actually the original, the original Brompton titanium is quite hard to come by in the after markets. I'm not sure if Brompton didn't want this to happen or not, but it's quite hard to buy the fork and the triangle, the original Brompton one at least, after you have purchased your bike and do the upgrade on it. And also the thinking was, also you might be thinking, what am I gonna do with my steel parts once I pull off from the bike? So I think you should just pay the price at once. I got some data here to share with you guys. So if you're going for the M6R, the full steel build, it's going to be, the weight is going to be 12.1 kg. If you're going for M6RX, the X is the titanium one, the weight is 11.377 kg. The difference between this is 0.74 kg. So it's 740 grams difference between the two. Um, it's quite hard to find that way from all the other parts of the bike. So if you want to go for a light bike, do go with it. Go with a six speed and with the titanium. I remember Matt Field in Singapore. I respect this guy a lot. He built um, 
he was trying to make a really light bike. So he came to me and asked me what I do. I gave him a lot of suggestions. The one thing that he wants to keep is the six speed hub. He said, six speed is Brompton. And he needs to climb a lot of slope, some mountains he like, like to do. So after like a month of work, with all the parts that we swap in and swap out, the whole bike was below 8 kg. It was a sub 8 kg six speed bike. To me, that is a lot like genuinely the normal modified two speed, you will get to sub seven, like six point something. So basically the guy, he did everything, but he kept the six speed hub and the bike was seven point something kg well-respected weight and the bike is really rideable so no need to worry all the slopes and everything so i hope i answer you anyway i hope you enjoy my vlog um, this is day two and day three is going to be two tomorrow um, tomorrow i'll be riding so there will be some riding videos coming up and um, if you do like the channel please consider subscribe and give a little thumbs up for for me that would be really nice and um, further if you have any questions feel free to drop me the questions on the comment I will try to answer it for, for you I will do as much as I could anything related to Brompton I will do do it no no worries and um, you can look for me on Facebook you can look for me on Instagram as well so for now dash <laughs> <laughs>